hey guys welcome to another video of microsoft office tutorials in this video we are going to learn four quick excel tricks excel trick number four five six and seven as we have been already released a tutorial on excel quick trick number one two and three so i will give link of tutorial of excel quick trick number one two and three in description section of this tutorial so that if anybody has not yet watched that tutorial can directly watch from there so let's start in this tutorial excel quick trick number four is that how we can quickly fill all blank cells or how we can fill all blank cells at once you can see here here we have a table in which we have sales data of different salespersons that have sold these different products you can see in this table that we have some cells in which we don't have any data or there are some cells that are blank for these cells that means these salespersons have not sold any of these products so let's say for these cells we want to write as no sales so how we can quickly fill all these blank cells or how we can quickly write no sales in all of these blank cells to do this we will just select this whole data in which we have blank cells and then we will go to home tab in home tab we will go to find and select we will go to this option go to special and in this window we will click here blanks we will go for ok and you can see here all blank cells are selected now as we need to write no sales in all these blank cells so we will simply write no sales and then we will press control plus enter and you can see here all these blank cells are now filled by no sales so this is excel quick trick number four that how we can quickly fill all blank cells now excel quick trick number five is that how we can quickly understand any excel file or any excel data let's say my manager has sent me this file and he asked me to work further on this file to further work on this file first of all the first thing that i need to do i need to understand this file that how this file is working and in which cells i have formulas and what formulas i have in any cell to understand this first thing that i need to do i will go to formulas in formulas i will go to show formula when i will click on this you can see here in any cell in which i have formula this is showing me that formula you can see here in all these cells i have some formula in all these cells i have max and v lookup formula and here i have index match here i have max formula so now i can see or i can check any formula from here to remove this i will again click on this show formula and now you can see all formulas are hidden now second thing i need to do let's say for this cell i cannot understand that uh, this result are from which cells to understand this what i will do i will go to formulas i will go to trace precedence from which cells figure is taken so i will click on this so trace precedence this is showing me that this result has came from all these cells you can see this whole column or all these cells have outline of blue color so means in this formula these all cells are used and let's say for this formula i want to check that this formula or this result is taken from which cells i will come to this cell i will go to trace precedence and now you can see in this cell or to take result or to get result of this cell we have been used this cell and this cell you can see here the whole table is selected I mean this whole table and this cell these both things are used to take or to get result of this cell so these are the two things by which you can quickly understand any excel data now to remove all these arrows we will again go here to formula a tab and then we will click on this remove arrows and now you can see we don't have any arrow this is the excel quick trick number five now excel quick trick number six is use of camera command first of all we will add camera command here in quick access toolbar then we will see how we can use camera command and why we should use camera command to add camera command in quick access toolbar we will go to file in file we will go to options in options we will go to quick access toolbar then we will click here we will select all commands and in all these commands we will search for camera and it should be here with see this is camera command we will select this we will click on add 
we will go for ok and then we will see here we have camera command we have been added here camera command now question is what is use of camera command actually camera command can take photo of any excel data that we can take to any excel sheet or any excel file and the photo that is taken by using camera command behaves same as normal data that means any changes that we make to original data the same changes we can see in the photo that is taken by using camera command now how it works let's see let's say we have here a data we have here a table in which we have sales data of year 2020 here we have different products and here we have units that we are expecting to sell in year 2020 and here we have total sales that we are expecting in year 2020 for these products then here we have a uh, unit price or sale price that we are thinking to use for each of these products then we have here sales price or total sales in dollars for each of these products and then here we have summary you can see here this total sales we have been brought from this file this total sales we have been taken here and then variable cost we have been taken total units from this sheet and then we have been used per units variable cost and this is total variable cost of each of these products that we are expecting to sell in year 2020 then we have here fixed cost and then this is our expected profit or loss for each of these products now let's say you can see here these products we have loss so let's say we are thinking to change unit price for each of these products so that we can get profit or at least we can get no profit no loss so we change here let's say we change here 4 then you can see here sales are changed then we come here and see this is profit or loss so the better is we just use camera command we use camera command we will just select the data from which we want to take photo we will click on camera command then we will go to the sheet in which we want to paste the photo we will just select the area in which we want to paste the photo and here we go you can see here this is the same data that we have here now the thing is the magic of camera command is any changes to this original data we can see that changes here in this photo so means if we change here anything we can see changes in this photo let's say we change here unit price 3.5 and you can see here here sales have been changed and now we have a loss of 5000 let's say we increase sale price to 3.6 and now you can see we have here profit 729 let's say for this product we also want to change loss into profit we increase sale price let's say to 2.5 still we have loss then 3 and now we have profit let's say we just decrease the price little bit 2.75 and now we have profit so now we let's say we think okay now we have done our work we will just delete this photo and you can see here now we have normal data and we have been and we have been completed our work also so this is magic of camera command and this was our excel quick trick number six now let's move to excel quick trick number seven our excel quick trick number seven belongs to data presentation to make our data more attractive and more professional you can see here headers of this table are normal headers to make these headers more professional and more attractive we will just select these headers we will go to home tab then we will come to alignment section in alignment section we will click on this option and you can see from this option we can change direction of text we will let's say we want to change direction into diagonal we will click on this and you can see our text direction is diagonal but this is not professional right what we will do we will just increase size of rows a little bit so that our data is understandable we will just select these rows we will bring data into center and now you can see washing powder dishwash liquid cooking oil and so on and same we can do this here we will just increase size a little bit of our rows we will bring data into center and you can see headers of these tables are attractive and more professional and more interesting so this is excel quick trick number seven that how we can change normal headers into diagonal headers so friends if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel microsoft office tutorials also don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends see you in next video thanks for watching bye bye